demonstrate the best materials and the best ways to apply it to make sure that your floors stay protected. All right, so let's go over a couple of products that we're using to protect our floor. This is Ramborn, and the name says it all. This is a heavy duty spill guard and wall guard. We use it on moldings, built-ins, stairs, floors, furniture, whatever needs protecting, this stuff comes in handy all the time. Uh, we'll carry around some white masking tape or white painters tape and some blue painters tape, which is the soft tack, easy release tape that we're gonna be using on the finished surfaces that we don't wanna damage. And this is the proprietary Ramboard tape. This is a high tack craft based tape that we use only for the seams of the Ramboard. It really only sticks and works well between the Ramboard material. So don't stick this on the floor or anywhere else. Just stick it to the Ramboard and it'll work out okay. Let's show you guys a couple of the ways that we best apply this to make sure that we don't get any curling or separation from our tape, uh, allowing debris to get underneath our protective layer. All right, here we are with our sampler ram board. I'm gonna show you how we're taping down the edges of the corners using the white masking tape and the blue tape. Now, take a note right here. I've already swept and mopped these floors. These floors are clean. Then we apply a perimeter of the blue masking tape all the way around the room. This is what's gonna protect our floor from the adhesive of the masking tape, but give our masking tape a great service to adhere to. So let's lay out the first piece, making note that we have about one inch space all the way around, which you can now easily identify with your tape. Get a draw a nice lead on your tape, start from one corner, putting half the tape on the ram board and half of it over the blue tape, and draw your hand all the way across, smoothing out the tape along the way. Now your masking tape doesn't have to be right on the edge of the mold. You don't have to do a super clean job out because you already went through with the blue tape to do that. So here, we just wanna make sure that our fingers get right on the edge of the ram board to really push that tape down. Make sure that you can, you can even see the difference in the color of the tape when you know that you've got it down real nice and tight. That's gonna prevent any curling in the future. Alright, as you saw in the video, it was pretty simple for me to roll out three rows and tape off the perimeter using the white masking tape by myself. I've already applied one seam with the Ramboard tape, and I'm going to give you a closer look at the second seam using the Ramboard tape, which is basically the same exact application for applying any other tape. Make sure your surfaces are clean, apply a smooth, even finish with pressure all the way across, and make sure that at the seams, you're really pushing down where the, the Ramboard is overlapping the other layer above. So basically, the same as applying the masking tape with the blue tape, draw a nice lead on your tape, start on one end, closest to the masking tape, and make sure that your tape is straight, using the roll as your guide. Follow the line of the ram board to make sure that your tape stays smooth and even. You want to be able to split, you want to be able to split the difference so that you have even amounts of tape and strength holding down the ramble. Now we all go back over it again, and like I said, where the board is overlapping, make sure you're really getting down in there, even with a tool, with the roll of tape, and just make sure that you're following that line and really getting the tape to get a good, solid connection to the pieces of ram board. All right, everybody. Well, thanks again for joining us. Uh, I'm John with Gilly Construction, and we're just here to help. We're trying to give you guys some tips and tricks of the trades for your weekend warriors and do-it-yourselfers. 
Um, we hope that you found this instruction the video helpful and we hope to bring more in the future. So if you have specific questions or items or projects that you'd like us to address, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try and get to them. Uh, there's going to be a link for Catalina Paints where we get all of our stuff. They're in LA. I'm not sure where everybody else is, but they're in LA and they're a great store. And there's be, there'll be a link uh, in the description below. And uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.